All right, everybody, welcome to the channel, as today is a really, really special day. Today is actually the National Pirate Speaking Day, and of course, this also comes with one of my favorite games of all time, a brand new Monkey Island game. Uh, you guys kept on asking me what is my favorite game of all time, and of course, I kept on saying that the series, the Monkey Island series has always been the one. And uh, after 30 years, we're finally getting a brand new one, which is called Return to Monkey Island. Now, if you guys enjoyed this game around, grab it for yourselves. As usual, the link is below, down below in the description. If you want to grab it on the PC, on the Nintendo Switch, the game is going to be available on those platforms, and it's going to be coming out on other platforms very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Now, before we jump into it, let me just take a quick moment here to thank the publisher, the Volvo Digital, for providing a review copy to share the game with you all. And of course, I cannot wait to actually jump into this one. As I was saying, one of my favorite games of all time has definitely been Monkey Island, and this is definitely going to be a very, very special one. So, let's just jump into it. Let's do this. Uh, we're definitely going to go with hard mode. Why? Well, because I've been playing puzzle adventure games for so, so long, and uh, Monkey Island, of course, has been my favorite one for uh, forever, and uh, we want to go with this one. So, let's do this. Man, Prelude, an unexpected story begins. You guys have no idea how excited I am about this game. Just extremely, Take extremely this, excited. Lechuk. Ugh. Guybrush, come over here gently now. <laughs> Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> there we go. What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Sorry it. We ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er do wells. Don't worry. I found him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the animation is um, just so on, gorgeous. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. What, what do you mean? Real? That is real. Now, if you guys haven't played the previous Monkey Island games, uh, you should know that all that is happening in the, Mon the world of Monkey Island is actually happening in Sorry, these boy, guys' heads, right? Us? It's creepy. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Oh, no way. We can actually play with them as kids like this? Oh, my God. I love it. Because in the past, we never managed I to play with a them. Dog that was bigger than my head. What? What's this way? Words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a scurvy dog. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's where I gotta go. Now, apparently we also have a to-do list. Hmm, buy scurvy dogs. Okay, uh, I don't believe we had this in the past. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Wait, can I actually tie up with Chuck? Hey, uh, Chucky, stand <laughs> over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Hmm, well, maybe we're gonna have to Send just get the scurvy dog first Aww. and then we're gonna be able to go here. All right, check the battle next. Whoa. <laughs> Look at what's inside that barrel. All right, let's go ahead and try to get ourselves some scurvy dogs, and maybe then we're going to have to be able to come back here and do some more stuff. But the thing is, how do, how do we even go there? Scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Ah, oh, maybe the scurvy dog is going to be actually inside here. Yeah, never mind. Oh, look at this. Hey, mister. Do you have some scurvy dogs with us? Ask the counter guy for stuff. Or, whoa, check out those glasses. Those glasses? are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. All kinds of money. Uh, can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Can we get some uh, chicken foot fries? Can we get a mug of grog? Or do you have a key to the outhouse? Hmm, let's go with the scurvy can dogs. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money. That grown-ups use? I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a <laughs> couple of dogs if you give me one. Hmm. Uh, please? Hey, can't you spare <laughs> something for a couple of hungry kids? <laughs> Look at their faces. 
Aww. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. All right, well, I guess, I guess never mind. Never mind. <laughs> hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Huh, so maybe that's where we gotta go. All right, well, in that case, uh, I guess we're gonna have to see if I can get myself the key. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> <laughs> from walking off with it, seriously? Hmm, uh, I probably am gonna have to snag it. Let me ask this guy then, uh, if we can actually get ourselves now what? the key. Um, oh, I cannot ask about it, apparently. Never mind. Interesting. All right, uh, let me see if I can snag the key then. Ooh, there I'll we go. This right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. <laughs> I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. All right. Now, as you guys see, I did remove the text whenever we're uh, with. I did remove the background whenever we chat with it somebody. Says, Return outhouse key when finished, or else. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here then. Love it. I'm currently really, really loving the game. To be honest, absolutely loving it. Uh, all right, so uh, mess around with the outhouse. Because we do have the key, right? Ah, never mind. We gotta go in here, grab the key, and use it with the door. Good, you unlocked it. Whoa! What the heck? This looks disgusting. What's this little metal thing? It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. <laughs> That's called okay. a slut. It's like a fake coin. Ah, well, grab it. Fake coin. Oh, so that's disgusting. I guess we got it. Next up, uh, buy the scurvy dog. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do that. Gross. Search for coins Chucky, in the toilet. <laughs> why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Huh. Man, I love that their names are Boy Brush and Chucky. Boy Brush for, of course, Guybrush Brush Three Puts and Chucky for Le Chuck. <laughs> for four that is amazing. Straight. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Smell the sludge. Is this uh, just gonna do that? What is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. <laughs> Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Oh my god, are we actually gonna wash the hands on this? Um. I'm not touching that gunk. <laughs> it seems more like Please something Chucky would do. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking oh it god. in your armpit? I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. All right, let's get out of here. Let me see if I can get... Oh, because of the glasses. That's why this guy cannot see very well. I get it now. Looks like they need a swabby in here. I'll never be the <laughs> ship swabby. That is really, really low. Oh, man. All right, let me give this guy the dog, coin. A Shein score butt. What can we get with this? <laughs> Oh, God. Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! There we go. We got ourselves the scurvy Take dogs. Oh, boy. <laughs> what are you that getting? It looks awesome. What? Just kidding. Here's yours. What are you getting? <laughs> there we go. We got ourselves the scurvy dogs. Yum! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I can stand on my head without using my hands. Okay, please do. Uh, hold up. Now I want to see if I can actually tie up Chucky here, to be hey, honest. Uh, Chucky. Since we Did already ate the scrappy dog, no right? Way. Oh, come on. Hey, uh, Chucky. Oh, he doesn't want to. here for a minute? No well, I guess we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to tie him up there. Uh, what else can we do? Read the sign. Exhibit removed. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Uh, what about the Let's scary not door? Go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. <laughs> All right, never mind. In that case, we cannot do anything on that side. Uh, we cannot really go to the beach part, looks of it. Uh, what about... Oh, God, look at this guy. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um... Hello? Hmm. Boo! Ah, <laughs> he's dead to the world. Ah, sounds real. Sounds real. Uh, can I go inside hey, here? Chucky, no. Get ready to run. <laughs> I guess they don't like visitors. 
All right, so nothing we can do over there. Uh, take a bite. There we go. We can actually eat this scary dog. All right. Now, can I maybe go towards those fellas? That's my Who's that kid? Hey, D. Hey, Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Wait, there. what did she do? Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. Oh, man, this area is amazing. I absolutely love this brand new location that we're visiting here. It's Mighty Pirates to-do list. Oh my gosh, she gave me so many checklists to do. Mess around and explore. Check out the anchor. Be Chucky in a race. Feed the duck. Add some sauce to Scrappy Dog. Practice uh, swords fighting. Find four leaf clovers and make a wish at a wishing well. Hmm. And find the real parents as well. <laughs> huh. All right. Let's check out the uh, anchor then. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that there we go. That shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. Shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more <laughs> damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow shape design is actually less effective than the ship. I love it how my character just went to sleep because of this. Century. But wow. the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old <laughs> I think she's gonna sometimes. stop talking. But collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, that's <laughs> Alright, let's just let's skip all this. Where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. <laughs> Most anchors these about Oh, uh, love it. She's never going to shut up. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> All right, there we go. We're done. Finally. <laughs> that was way too much. If you miss anything, you can actually go to the previous line. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of an expert of an anchor. I read it a lot. Ah, so if you actually skip something, you can always go back and read it at your own pace. Interesting. All right, let me see if I can do a challenge to a race. Hey, Chucky. Want a race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three. <laughs> Two, one, go! Oh my god, he was Chucky so fast. Wins. What? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, so I gotta find a way to actually beat him, to be honest. Because yeah. that is the mission, sure. right? Let's see, if I go to the missions... Yeah, beat Chucky at a race. Hmm. Alright, so we gotta find a way to actually beat him. Uh, next. Take bread. Hey, hands off! Oh, dang it. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, could we have some of your we bread? Have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought wow. it for ourselves. Mm, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> uh, will you pretend to be our parents will you again? You pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean again? Run along and find your real parents. <laughs> huh? Wonder what's in the basket. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. Ooh, there we go, Chucky. What are you doing? Kids these days have no regard for personal property. And I hope no they gotta get rid of these fellas somehow. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. blah Alright, let's just blah, uh, let them talk blah, there. Blah. While they're talking. Blah, blah, Can I maybe blah, grab blah, blah, their blah, stuff? Blah, blah, blah. Ah, oh, because they're not paying attention. I get it. Well, let's just try it again. Let's just try to get them again to not Some be paying attention to us. Unknown. Or maybe not, never mind. But at least we got ourselves a piece of bread. Examine the bread. I stole it from that couple. All right, uh, let's see, what else? Don't feed the duck. That's exactly what they're doing. Hmm. Am I supposed to give bread to the duck? Okay, well, apparently that was also part of the mission. There we go, feed the duck. Uh, what do we got here? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's oh. supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Okay, then let me grab the scurvy dog and put it on You're the ketchup. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. <laughs> no, of course not. Gross. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. <laughs> hmm, pick up the ketchup then. You there we go. You put that on your scurvy dog. I know. That's exactly why I picked it up and combined. There we go. And now, taste it. 
Oh god, that's disgusting. <laughs> what the heck? Well, he doesn't care. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Uh, what else? Read the sign. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Okay, let's search for it then. Let's see let's if I can find one. Four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. I think I see actually one right over here. It's a four-leaf clover. Look at that. Here we go. Awesome. There was still one left. <laughs> she looked for all of them, but she couldn't find it. And I think that was also part of the mission. Yeah. Uh, make a wish at the wishing well. Okay, we just got to find the wishing well, I guess. Now, let me see. What do we got here? Uh, practice war fighting. Yes, please. This is definitely another part of the mission. Let's be frank. You can what? never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. <laughs> I win. I win. Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. There we go. We did a little bit of practice as well. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we can do anything back here, though, with these fellas in the background. Did you no. Know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? How does that make sense? Ooh, a coin. Awesome. And I think I can actually make I a wish. Throw my coin in and make a wish. All right, let's do that. All right, I wish Chucky had a mustache. I wish D would disappear. I wish for a cool plant. Uh, I wish for another scrappy dog. And I wish we could speak backwards. Oh, God. Seriously, we can speak backwards? No, you know what? I think I want Chucky to have a mustache. I wish Chucky had a mustache. <laughs> no way. Oh, my God. That is a huge mustache. Whoa, that is more like a beard. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was so good. Now, let me go here. Let's see. We got the wish. All we got to do is just beat Chucky in a race. But the thing is, in order to beat Chucky in a race, I don't know how to do it. Are we I got to try to be faster. We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Oh, uh, then we're not done. Hmm. Can I make another cool. wish? I wish I had another coin. Uh, so if I had another coin, I think I could actually get another wish, but examine I the cleaver. I never find one. Can I give this one to... No. Hmm. There's actually nothing I can do here. This place is fun. Can I give... Uh, the bread to him? No. Can I maybe give... Uh, the scrappy dog to him? No. Hmm. In that case, how am I gonna be able to beat him, I wonder? At the race. Uh, challenge for another I've race. I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. Take a bite. <laughs> uh, what's my character doing? <laughs> He's just gonna keep on puking. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops. I think I gotta make him slow somehow, but the question is, how am I gonna make Chucky here be slow? Oh, maybe I gotta double click so that we can run faster. I get it now. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. That's how you do it. I win! <laughs> he went into the tree. What the heck was that? <laughs> and look at that. We have done all our quests and find our real parents of next. So let's just try to do that. Talk to D. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. So I think now we can actually open up the door and head on out. Oh, wait. What? Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. No Have way. This is Guybrush yeah. Threepwood. We got scurvy dogs. Those what? Those toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island. 
where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story that was my ended. favorite one of all, to be honest. Fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I <laughs> should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, I love there was it. a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Oh, man, so apparently the story is going to be told by Guybrush. I absolutely love this. And also, the island we're going to be exploring here, this is really, really epic. It is going to look different, of course, from uh, what we remember the game. But look at that, deep in the Caribbean. The island of Melee. Oh, man. Such a great game. Every single time I hear this music for Monkey Island, it just brings back some really amazing memories. And I love this so much. All right, there we go. Part one, a friend of place. Uh, <laughs> feels good to be back on Melee Island. Oh, it sure is. In the Caribbean, it sure is, every buddy. Good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing <laughs> in this case. <laughs> or sailing Hi. in this case. I'm Guyver Streepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Streepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him? Um, hmm. Well, LeChuck uh, actually kidnapped my wife. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. <laughs> well, he's an evil zombie pirate. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate. Terror of the seas. And sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? Hmm. Well, we've been enemies for my whole career, we've then. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing <laughs> about you. Wait, what? That guy steals all my best that ideas. He steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. <laughs> well, I'm mounting on my own voyage. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm going to hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon <laughs> as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know. I know. You'll see. I know exactly which one that's going to be. Oh, man, I absolutely love it. Uh, it's like a mini lookout. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it <laughs> looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? <laughs> What about the fire? Stare into the bonfire or warm my hands? Man, I love it that they made so many animations uh, and cutscenes on random things that you can actually interact I with into the game. Forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. All right. Uh, what do you mean head to the island interior? Oh, my it's gonna open up right the map. Now is down those stairs with three pirate leaders and the fat wad of cash they're gonna give me. <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs then. Oh man, it's so good to be back to melee. 
Look at this world. This is amazing. Read the post here. Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. Huh. Of course, previously was uh, Governor Elaine. We elect Governor Carla. She's hard on softness. I'm uh, actually quite excited to finally meet Elaine again as well. Uh, so I'm guessing that's going to be uh, Lechuk's ship, right? Interesting. All right, I'm not going to go there just yet because at the moment we got to go inside this gun bar. Oh, look at this place. Oh, man. It kind of looks a little bit the same with quite a lot of changes, of course, because the art style is different, but... I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. <laughs> In the back. Okay, what about these pirates? I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Everybody's saying in the back. What about this? A collectible card trivia book. It's a book hmm. for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Uh, can I grab it? Oh, we can. I'm back of the scum bar. Wait, what? In the back of the scum bar is a giant will, a fishing trophy, the cellar, or the kitchen. It's the kitchen. Ah, uh, no way. So this is going to be like some sort of a mini game where you get multiple of these cards and you just got to choose the right answer in order to complete them. Oh, that is so cool. I love it that they made like a mini game inside this book. That is awesome. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. I just wanted to see what you guys are going to say. So I'm ah. guessing it's these ones Have right you here. Seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. <laughs> well, I had heard there was a change of the leadership. I had heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. <laughs> well, where are the three older guys? Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? <laughs> Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Oh man, so many things have changed. Well, is it you I should talk to is about the you financing? Should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Wait, what? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. <laughs> Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, oh God. Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? <laughs> Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Man, I absolutely love this. Almost every single thing is going to have a cutscene. Uh, definitely allowing us to kind of connect with the game so much more. Especially when we're getting back in time where Guybrush is actually telling the story. Or more like going to the present, I guess. It's not exactly raids. Um, well, let's go with I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. <laughs> well, it's a prize of incalculable monetary value. Uh, it's a prize of incredible culture value. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. It's a yes. mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> what, the, what the heck, dude? Oh my god, these two, these three are annoying. <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. <laughs> Uh, could you at least point me towards an available could ship? You at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I could make it worth your while. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Dang it, dude. Well, with backing, I can work it with out. With backing, I can work it out. It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. Dang it. Well, if you don't take the opportunity, LeChuck will grab if it. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. <laughs> You'll do it. Huh? No. Of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? 
Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye bye. Wait, well, so the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, they just love laughing at me. <laughs> oh man. Seriously? Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Um, I hope they're not gonna put me in jail or anything. Better. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we definitely got ourselves a brand new mission. Get or find the ship, uh, find the security of Monkey Island and relieve the glory days. Man, uh, I'm really curious if we're gonna be able to go back to the secret of Monkey Island, the one that I was saying that is my favorite one of all. Really curious if that's a thing. But first, uh, let me actually make my way to the back here. Can I go to the kitchen? Oh, Guy oh we can. As I Look at that. Breathe, how have you been? Uh, PG. PG. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Oh wow! Seriously, she's good. No pieces she's missing. Good. <laughs> no pieces missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still <laughs> in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says, anyway. Well, tell her I say hello. Well, apparently we do have a kid in the present. Uh, the atmosphere in the bar is different than the it used to be. The atmosphere in the bar is different than it used to be. Yeah, I don't like it, but. I've got to cater to the new crowd. Everything changes, Guybrush. But the roaches I guess it stay does. the same. I've missed your wit and your low alcohol tolerance. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Those new pirate leaders seem like Those real new jerks. Pirate leaders seem like real jerks. Why do you even let them in the bar? Well, they've driven off my old regulars, so I don't have a lot of choice if I want to stay in business. Also, if I tried to get them to leave, they'd probably cut me up and throw me in the soup. Frankly, I'm terrified of them. On the plus side, they have more disposable income and better hygiene than the old crowd. Does that mean that I'm supposed to get rid of them somehow? It definitely feels like it. I think I heard the health inspector. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. Oh, what? never mind. Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> uh, did I mention I'm going to find Secret of Monkey did Island? Did I mention I'm going to find the Secret of Monkey Island? No, I don't think you did. Well, that's exciting. So you'll be hiring a ship at the docks? I'm thinking I'll steal one. As far as I know, the only ship out there is LeChuck's. Even better. Two birds with one stone. Bold. I like your thinking. <laughs> Wait, am I actually going to steal LeChuck's ship? Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. No, we already went with this what? one. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> the joke is not going to work. All right, uh, keep up the good work. Good work. Thanks. Will do. Can I grab me some maggots? Active little guys, aren't they? Hmm, maybe not. Looks like a mugshot. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. Pests or garnishes? A good cook <laughs> sources local supplies when he can. He also has a lot of a food stuff. Food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. <laughs> can I sniff that? Ugh, I remember hmm. that stench as if it were yesterday. All right, uh, can I go back here? I see that there's a wooden thingy. A wooden the seagull. says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. <laughs> I know I'd saying that because in the past, we actually had a seagull coming over here and we had to do a puzzle with it. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. Huh. Oh, we got ourselves some string. What is that? It's hopeless. Untangle the string. Oh, so he doesn't want to untangle it? Hmm. I've got a few coins for incidentals. And look at that, guys. We have ourselves the horse armor because we actually pre-ordered the this game. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. <laughs> but from what I know, we're not going to be able to use that armor with absolutely anything. Uh, but I wonder if we can at least try. Oh, you cannot put it on anything. What the heck? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, man. So apparently I cannot use it with anything. Well, it is what it is. Let's get out of here. Uh, I don't think we can do anything in the bar, at least at the moment. But I have a feeling i got to get rid of these parts somehow. Um, let's see here. Hello, streets. Wait, is that Elaine? Elaine? It is Elaine. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? <laughs> well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! Well, I was hoping you'd turn up in the story. I was hoping you'd turn up in this story. 
I was hoping <laughs> you'd turn up in mine. Oh, I love it. How's a scurvy? How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great. We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Okay, well, you wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. You wouldn't happen Do to have you? a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that. Mm, but yeah. It never hurts to so ask. you gotta find a way to get a ship. But I have a feeling we need of a ship and a crew the for my ship. expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. Well, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. Uh, sounds like we both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. <laughs> uh, well, I feel better just talking to you. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. <laughs> All right, I gotta I go. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Love it. Oh man, <laughs> uh, sketchy graffiti. It doesn't look finished. Or graffiti, actually. Maybe I'm supposed to finish it. Although I don't really have any paint. Uh, what about the poster that it's she just put on? It's about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. <laughs> Can I take Elaine the flyer? Would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. <laughs> all right. What about the uh, statue here? The problem here? with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of melee. Huh. All right, in that case, let me go back. Um, let's see if we have any structures we got to interact with. So, of course, we got this scurvy dog. Uh, let me also stroll back here. Let's see what the ship is going to look like. Because, of course, as you guys know, this is the ship. <laughs> How clever. <laughs> Love it. Job openings. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Huh. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm short of swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, hmm. Have you got anything else? Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Uh, sure. I could be second mate. Um, hmm, what could we be? Ship surgeon, a gunner, maybe swabbing not bad after all. Let's go with second mate. I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. <laughs> Dang it, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it, so uh, we're definitely gonna have to do the uh, swabby job. Make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's okay, not gonna work. Idiot. Don't waste my time, okay? Oh, dang it, alright, let's go with the gunner. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. <laughs> you look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. <laughs> Dig it. All right, all right. Maybe Swabby then. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. Oh. You've got a mop. The job is. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Um. I don't think telling them that I'm Guybrush Threepwood is a good idea. So let's go with Andrew LeChuck. No relation. No, let's go with Smith. Smith. John Smith. Uh huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist. Dang and it! You're no. Right. In fact, <laughs> you are the blacklist. I'm sorry. What? I can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Oh man, well, that's a slight edge. I'm confused. <laughs> Didn't you say you were gonna get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew, ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board. Wait for the right moment and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. <laughs> so maybe I gotta get myself a mop and also disguise myself in order to get in here? Let's see, yeah. 
Join the check's crew, solve the problem. Quartermaster recognizes me and won't hire me, of course, so we need the disguise and we also need a mop. Hmm. After that, we're gonna have to seize the Chuck's ship and find the secret to Monkey Island. All right. Man, I actually love it that we have this list here telling us what we gotta do, just in case we kinda get stuck. Uh, I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. I really don't mind at all. What about supplies? Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Check out the sign. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, three to four. <laughs> Oh man, love it. Alright, let's get out of here. So, we know that we cannot uh, go inside the ship, at least not yet. Why was Wally oh, in wait. such a hurry? Who are these ones? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. Oh wait, that's the voodoo lady! That is exactly who she is. Now hold on a minute. Uh, isn't this Wally's shop? No, it's not. Hmm. He's not gonna have to go to Wally eventually. Uh, I don't remember exactly where he was, so I'm definitely gonna have to go there. But first, to be honest, I really have a chat. I really want to have a chat with uh, the Buddha lady, if I can manage to find her. Oh, this is where Wally is. Ah, look at hey, Wally. Wally. He's grown well, up so well, much. Well, look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Well, I'm looking for a mop. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. <laughs> well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. Well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Oh, okay, that is a good pointer. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a map of the Secret of Monkey you Island? Happen to you? have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island? Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is Think the it. only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Hmm. Uh, you have a lot of maps you have in here. A lot of maps in here. We've got so many. You need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Come on, yeah, that was good. That was a good one. Uh, looks like the shop across the way is in looks trouble. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high what is that supposed to mean? The ego-driven world of pirating is changing. And, and dark, dark magic, magic is taking, is over. taking ah. over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Now nah, you know what? I am still into voodoo. Uh, the town seems to be pretty run down. seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on Max. So, mm. what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally. <laughs> well, it's great to see you, buddy. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographic. <laughs> That's not a real word. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man, I love this. Ooh, a monocle. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Wait. Can I grab it? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. <laughs> oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Love it. All right, we got ourselves a uh, monocle. It makes things look bigger. It makes things look bigger. Can I use it with this? <laughs> no. Hmm, open the trivia book. Do I have more trivia in here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to have to find some of these cards before I'm going to be able to use them, right? That's one fancy map. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. <laughs> Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. Oh, God. If, if you, you pay, for, pay it. for it. Never mind. Mm. So I don't want it, I guess. Admire the fan. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? Look at this bikey map. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, ask rating, about the boxes. Black diamond. What a handsome map. Let's ask about the boxes. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. <laughs> a solid uh, gold compass rose. It looks expensive and shiny. I like shiny. Huh. It's a map full of monsters. Check out the small map. 
I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. We got a pattern map over here. I wonder if I'm gonna huh, need that. Never seen one of those before. Yep, never seen one of those before. Um, is there anything that I need? A globe in a map I store. I didn't know you made globes too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> it's all these cards of your stuff. Yeah, you know what? I think we might have actually gotten ourselves everything that we needed from Wally, at least at the moment. So let's get out of here. And finally, what I want to do is uh, go inside the voodoo shop right up here. The National House of Mojo. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Oh, man, love it. They did kind of kept Welcome, it the same. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. Well, I have been waiting to see you again, little lady, that's for sure. You mean ever since we saw each other last? Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Oh. Only you <laughs> can manage to be late, even when you are fated to arrive. <laughs> it's a gift. Uh, oh, no love it. To seek knowledge on your behalf? Will it cost you anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent, which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Got it. <laughs> we got a tiny ship. Mm. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. <laughs> Man, I absolutely love it that... We're getting these close-ups before of the way forward. Open this book for guidance continuing, on what right? is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. <laughs> a book Use of hints, seriously. Wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. <laughs> Wait, so she actually gave me a... A hint book? How do I get a map? How do I join the crew? Ah, so if you are getting stuck, you can actually ask the book, and uh, it's probably gonna help us giving us some hints. That is a pretty neat way to actually do it. Not bad at all. All right, let's keep on chat with her. I'm not done here. Uh, your sign says you're going out of your business. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it Why? belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. Hmm. How does that magic How does work? Dark magic work. Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. To be honest, I have a feeling we're gonna have to fix this place up back again. Hmm. Is dark magic Is powerful? Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that <laughs> metaphor a lot, don't you? It has uh, many love uses. Uh, can dark magic get me to Monkey can Island? Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> Nuts. I don't suppose you sell maps I don't or mops. You sell mops. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at yep, the samba. Yep, I know. All right, so we're gonna have to go to the cook and chat with him about that. Uh, where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. All right, uh, can you use your talents to tell me where Elaine is right now? Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right or now? Or how she is, actually? She's always close, no, no matter, matter the, the distance. distance. Do your answers <laughs> ever make sense? There nope. are no answers, only questions that are finished. <laughs> is this the year when you finally tell me your name? Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. <laughs> but it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. 
It is Corina. Oh. Oh, okay. wait, what? Corina? Corina. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. I like Rude Lady more. I definitely like Rude Lady more. Uh, are you able to see what LeChuck is are up to? Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, got any other mystical advice for, him, got any for other me? Mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we are kind of done with the Voodoo Lady at the moment, to be honest. What's the feast of knowledge. Hmm. Okay. I've always been impressed by your chair. Thank you. <laughs> Can I maybe grab me this dagger or the frog? What's this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When a forgiveness no frog. apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's <laughs> like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. <laughs> no works. comment. Trust me. I think I'll buy one of these. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. Ah, not bad. So probably we're gonna have to use this frog with somebody. Try to remember who I want. Try to remember why I'm carrying a frog. The lady said it was a forgiveness frog. Huh. Okay. What about the dagger? Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. All right, I want it. Oh, there like we go. This knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. <laughs> this product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, <laughs> spreads, bed What am I supposed to do with it then? Because apparently I'm not able to do anything with it. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp <laughs> and should not be carried in a pocket. Oh my god. Belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no <laughs> Is she never gonna stop talking about this? What the heck, dude? Wow. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. <laughs> well, we got ourselves the knife at least. Man, do we still have coins? I've got a few coins for incidentals. Uh-huh, so we still have a few, I guess. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin Ew, of a little head. <laughs> no thanks. It's a creepy shrunken head with long, stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. Huh. Now, I do see that we have some sticky bottle, musty bottle, and a shiny thingy. Pretty sure I cannot grab these things. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Yeah, we definitely cannot grab anything. Uh, we got some colors over here. I'm not sure what this Green, is. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? <laughs> it's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Hmm. Okay, open the I'd safe. I need a lot of keys to open that. Ah, so maybe if I get my hands on a lot of keys, am I going to be able to open this up? Apparently I need five keys to open it up. 
interesting. Alright, anyway guys, that being said, I think this is gonna be the end of the first episode of Return to Monkey Island. I gotta say guys, I'm really impressed with the game here. Um, a lot of people had a lot of complaints about the art style, but to be honest, it is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really love the art style, and the way the story is being told, definitely, definitely special. But that being said guys, if y'all enjoyed this, make sure you leave a like down below. If you guys wanna grab the game for yourselves or as a present to a friend, check out the link as well in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next one coming up very, very soon. Bye everybody!